Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a card reading for the collective. Also, for anyone watching this video, what a twin flame soulmate and a higher soulmate. So let us see what your person is thinking, feeling, what's happening in their life right now. And we'll get some messages also um, from your guides. Uh, we'll get some angel numbers, maybe some names. Let's see what's happening in here. Okay. All right, let's see. Spirit, tell us what's going on with your person right now. It's happening. If, ooh, okay, some things are coming out. All right, well, we got some temptation. We got a queen of swords. Let me just pull these cards out because... Okay. So right now, it feels like your person... There's a lot of temptation going on in their life. And they're trying to stabilize it, Okay. We have this Queen of Swords in reverse, so definitely a karmic in there. Uh, when I say a karmic, this could be a third party, someone that your person is interested in or someone that's hanging around your person that are interested in them and, you know, putting pressure on them and stuff like that and being a bit toxic. Sometimes your person won't see this, see this person as toxic, but um, later on they'll realize that this person is sucking their energy and pointing them in the wrong directions, right? So this person is someone that your that your um your person right here was addicted not addicted to but you know couldn't get rid of that easily. It's kind of like a codependency, okay? And uh, they're trying to get rid of this person and this connection that they have with this person, this karmic connection, um really really bad they're trying so hard because look at the the ten of wands in reverse this person is kneeling like there was so much pressure on them and they're trying to take that pressure off one by one by one so i'm feeling the presence of someone else that's definitely the vibe i'm getting but i'm also feeling the presence of like their job like the um responsibility that they feel is like crushing them and your person feels like they have to Try to get rid of these things and like lessen their load and delegate and all of that more and more and more because otherwise they won't survive. So all of these cards just show that your person is struggling to come out of a karmic situation. And this is their main focus right now. And they're trying to do it for themselves because they've, they've been practicing self-love and they're trying to do it for you as well. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that they're going to have um, constant progress. Sometimes the progress is three feet forward, one step back, then three feet forward, one step back, then four feet forward, one step back. Sometimes that also is progress. So don't be too harsh on your person if they make mistakes. And if they end up being with this person or being in this situation one more time, or, you know, they're saying, oh, give me till the end of the year to get rid of this. This is their free will. You're going to have to just leave them alone to let them fix this by themselves sometimes people have to learn on their own okay all right i'm getting the throat chakra on that so your person is like swallowing they are being very um secretive about it because they're not sure if you're gonna approve of it um they're trying to keep this away from you and it's like but their throat is scratching like they want to tell you but they don't know how to tell you that they have to go through this okay it's fine. Some somewhere you already know what's going on, right? Okay. <clears throat> A ten of coin in reverse as well. So yeah, they're dealing with some financial issues as well and some health issues. So um, if you feel like sending them some love, some reiki, some prayers, it would be a good time right now. Doing a um, spirit release for them it would be a very good thing to do. Because your person is a little bit underwater. And so we see all these cards right here of them trying to, like, they're struggling to get out. And then we have some financial issues and some health issues on top of that. Okay. All right. Uh, Spirit, let's get some other cards. A message from your person directly. And I am hearing some names here coming out. I hear Mark. Um, I'm hearing Frederick. Uh, Jessica. Mar Maria, I'm also hearing Linda, I'm hearing Jasmine, Kareem, 
and it's like Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. All right. Um, let's leave it like that. And the angel number is coming to me. It's going to be 2150. 2150. All right. So there's a few karmic energies in your person's life right now. So just be a little bit compassionate and understanding. And you might have to stay away from them while they go through this. Because I feel that they can only go through this alone. They couldn't have support from you on the 5D. But probably not in the 3D. They, are, they have to go through. Okay. Let's see. A message directly from them. We have a two of earth. Two, two of earth. I don't know how to do this just yet but i'm juggling these resources i'm making lemonade from lemons and i'm trying my best this is all i can promise they're saying i'm trying my best that's my promise to you okay to do the best that i can so your person is doing the best that they can with what they have with all their resources and all of that we have the hangman okay so a little bit of confusion but willing to take the leap willing to forge forward and willing to believe. So belief is important for your person because if they believe that you guys are meant to be together, they're going to do everything in their power to be with you. Uh, and hopefully they don't fail. Okay. Because there's a lot of things going against your person right now, but they're going to try for you as much as they can. This phase right here is going to play out a little bit more uh, this week, next week. Maybe mid next week, they're going to be released from this a little bit. It's still going to be in the background, but it's not going to have too much pressure on their psychology right now and their mental. Um, and then you guys are going to go into a different phase. Okay. We have Messenger of Earth. Okay, so they want to tell you that you embody the Earth Mother, the Earth Father. You embody abundance, you embody grounding, you embody comfort, home, everything like this. You are the person that they go to when they need to feel at peace. And we see all these yellows, so the solar plexus is going up, up, up for you, the sacral chakra as well. So there's a lot of creativity happening here. And because of this earth, there's a lot of grounding. And um, I'm feeling like a lot of... Uh, the, the energy is, is very um, strong. It's like a, a lot of power. You're gaining a lot of power. Your energy is being built up, okay? Uh, and so they are saying that they can feel that. They can feel you. That's what they're saying to you, okay? They can feel that you are changing as well. Okay, we have the two of air. So they're saying, I'm trying to make a decision between you and this karmic uh, in my mind, I've already made the decision, but I'm trying to get out of it and detach. Uh, give me some time. And the karmic can be the, the job as well and a physical person. Here, this Queen of Swords in reverse. So you, your person is facing some difficulties in um, untangling themselves from certain situations. So they're asking for your compassion and your understanding. They have two birds whispering at them and they don't know what to do. And we have transformation. The transformation is going slow. Okay. They're resisting this transformation here. Okay. It's, it feels like it's going slower than it should. But it's, it's getting there. It is getting there. Um, I'll show you the card up right. So we see this fire, this spark of fire right there. Okay. So it, what it feels like is... Right now, your person is going to just do what they can, try their best, and it feels like they might be um, stuck in this loop for a while with this karmic energy. And uh, I feel like uh, by the end of the month, there's going to be some sort of change in your person's life because I could feel like they are trying to say, okay, let me just stay in this energy. Let me just try to do my best here. And, and then there's some sort of divine intervention that's going to make a huge, 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 major change um, from the external 
to the internal. It, it's going to look like that. We know that it's the internal to external, but it will look like the change is coming from the outside, whereas it's actually coming from the inside. Okay. So your person doesn't see this as them transforming. They're thinking, oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I might actually um, get out alive. And then, boom, it's like they get hit by a car, uh, figuratively speaking. And, um, and then there's huge, major change for your person at the end of this month. Okay, all right. But it's a good change. It's going to be good for them in the long run. They might see it as something bad, but it's going to be good for them, okay? Because they'll be finally detaching from this karmic situation. And that will be before the beginning of um, some this two summer months. All right, messages from spirit. Buy the book. Just go buy the book for now. Continue to manifest what you're doing. We have number 11. Continue your, your manifestation. This is going to be important. Just follow the rules. Stand in line. Just trust that the universe has got your back. Nothing has gone wrong. You haven't done a bad manifestation. This is just something that was supposed to play out. And then you're going to be good. We have go the distance. This is a long-term thing that you have with this person. Uh, whether they're going to be your friend, your lover, your person, your commitment. It's going to be long-term. So just have a plan for this person in your life. Okay. All right. Let's see regeneration so there's a regeneration coming towards you and regeneration coming towards your person as well so if you vibe in this uh type of phase of regeneration rebirth and just looking for new things and exploring new things traveling picking up a new hobby this is what's going to help you uh to move forward in this life and uh move away from all this karmic energy in this situation it's going to be fine you're going to be fine nothing's going to happen to you um, you will have peace in watching your person transform beautifully, okay, uh, into something as beautiful as a butterfly. So by the book also, maybe some of you should be writing a book and um, doing some creative writing there and some artistic projects, okay? All right, so I am going to leave it here for uh, this card reading. It does seem that your person is not in a very, very good situation right now, but they're trying their best to trying to get out of it. And Spirit is just saying, focus on you because um, either way, your person will come around again and uh, they will be back in your life if you want them to. All right. Love and light. Take care.